Hi, and thanks for watching iHeart Tuts. Today we are going to be talking about how to remove blemishes and pimples and basically any flaws that you uh, see on your face or on your skin. Um, I'll be using Photoshop CS4 on a Macintosh computer, so all my uh, shortcuts will be geared accordingly um, to the Macintosh computer. What I did was I basically went on Flickr.com and I found um, images with the uh, attribution license and the share alike license attached to them which basically means that you're allowed to manipulate you're allowed to distribute or even you can even sell or make profit off of these image images and um, this is really a really cool tool that Flickr has or a very cool option that Flickr has um, you can just search through their database or their uh, collection of images and select the ones that have the share alike and attribution license attached to them and you can basically photoshop the images and post it up wherever you want as long as you do give credit to the artist or the photo photographer that has taken the picture alright so let's go ahead and uh, open up our image by pressing Apple O on the Mac or Control O on the PC and I've uh, titled my pimple and um, that is available to download under the under the description. All right, for uh, this tutorial, we're going to be using our patch tool, our patch tool, and our spot healing brush tool. Um, you can go to the toolbar and you can click and hold down on the uh, the icon, and basically it'll give you these options. You can select spot healing brush tool. You can select patch tool. Or you can just go ahead and press J. J is the shortcut. So uh, starting out, we're going to go ahead and use the the patch tool. So go ahead and select the patch tool. And what we're going to do is it's pretty much works like the uh, the lasso tool. So click and then drag your selection. So we're going to select this uh, blemish right over here near the the cheekbone. And as you can see, it makes a selection. So what we're going to do is we're going to click and hold and then drag that selection to a clean skin area. And what that's going to do is, as you can see, the, um, the selected area, it changes colors as I drag it, as I drag the selection to, uh, to a certain area. So if we, get, if we, we let go on a clean area, basically what's going to happen is it's going to blend in the um, the area that we dropped the selection onto with the selected area so as you can see it did a fairly good job um, let's go ahead and try it on the around the, the nose and try that one more time so we're gonna click and drag the selection and then drag it to a clean area and as you can see it blends it fairly well and after you do um, make your selection you do you do have to uh, deselect the image or deselect the selection excuse me by pressing Apple V on the Mac or Control V on the PC and I mean um, doing it once it does a pretty good job but if it doesn't you can always do it more than once and as you can see the, the blemishes is getting better and better and you can do that to this big area right over here and click and drag to a clean spot of the skin there you go press Apple D to deselect and as you can see the skin is looking fairly clean and um, this is basically how you use the patch tool now we're gonna go ahead and grab the, the spot the spot healing brush tool go ahead and select it by uh, by pressing J. You can cycle through the tools by pressing and holding shift and then keep pressing J until you get to the, the spot healing brush tool which looks like a band-aid with a little a little dotted line sprouting out of it. Anyway, for the spot healing brush tool it's fairly simple to use. Um, as you can see there's a little tiny pimple right here so let's go ahead and remove it. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to change the diameter of your brush or your yeah your brush change it to 
um, about the size of the pimple, but a little bit bigger than the pimple. So that, I set mine at 18, that seems about right. And um, all you have to do is pretty much just click over the pimple and it's gone. So what that does is it samples around the areas of the, the brush and it blends it in with the selected or the brushed in area. So if we zoom out, you can see that the, uh, the pimple is gone. Uh, we'll do that one more time. There you go. And, and now the image has is blemish free. And this basically concludes this tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed I Heart Tuts. Um, please subscribe and um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you.